Hey Kale, here's the mule branding kit. It's got the brands in there. A few of them. A lot of them. What is this place? Oh, we're a store. <laughs> we're not your typical store, but we're a store. And we feature a huge array of items from the basic science supplies for classrooms to motors, telescopes, microscopes, office supplies, craft supplies. Who decides what you stock in here? For the most part, we have two purchasers at our corporate office and they both get to pick out a lot of this fun stuff. Sometimes they're motors, like a company makes blenders and they stop making a certain blender, but they have 10,000 little motors left for it. We're actually sitting on a latrine. We are sitting on a two-person military latrine. We can go together. Now, who is this? We do have the labware and stuff, but we also have switches and little light bulbs and sockets and alligator clips and battery packs and little motors and things that kids can use for their science projects. Their teachers tell them this is where you can go to get the supplies. A lot of people come here just for the atmosphere. We've got Willy Talk up there and our old school desks and there's some pop cultural novelties and stuff. Just it's more for the atmosphere. Yeah, for the fun of it. The frogs are, they're 16 years old. They're like pets to us. They're 100% aquatic frogs. We have a five foot tall T-Rex. Um, we built it out of all parts from our store. His jaw opens and closes all day long. A lot of dads with the little boys, they come in and they're like, okay, how does it work? And they watch the whole contraption and it's really neat to see it. I've been here 18 years and every week I find something that I wonder, when did that get there? For the most part, if they ask for something and we don't have it, um, yeah. it's a one-off. It's like, hey, you're the only person who's asked for that so far. If we don't have it and it's a popular requested item, we will get it. You're gonna come in looking for your bottle and you're gonna walk out with um, a Nancy Pearl librarian doll or a narwhal piggy bank. Uh, just things that you didn't know existed, but now that you do, you kind of have to have them. Always a lot of cool things there. Cassandra got a chance to take a deep dive into what's for sale at American Science and Surplus. See what she found on this story at MilwaukeeTonight.com.